Hi viewers, uh, today I am discussing the, uh, one of the topic of high voltage uh, which I presented in uh, lumps. So the name of the topic which I will present it is Vendigraph Generator. So these are the contents which I will present one by one. So I start from the introduction of Vendigraph Generator. After that I will discuss little bit history of Vendigraph Generator, then principle of Vendigraph Generator. After that I will also discuss the construction and working of Vendigraph Generator. Then I will also discuss one research paper which are uh, related to Vendigraph Generator and after that I will discuss the limitation, application, safety and at the end I will answer your questions. So let's come to the introduction of Vendigraph Generator. Vendigraph Generator is such a device which generates a high voltage by means of an endless belt collecting electrostatic charges from a source and transferring it to a large isolated dome shape on which a large charge accumulates. So here I use the word endless belt. It means that I construct the bed for bending graph generator such like which have no end like circular shape. After that I use the word electrostatic charges. So it means that we electrostatically transfer charges from one part of the Vendi graph generator to be another part. And here also I use the word isolated metal dome shape. So we accumulate all the charges on or store all the charges on isolated metal dome shape structure which have circular shape. Why it have circular shape? I will also discuss it in the construction and so now let's come toward the history of Vandegraaff generator. So the Vandegraaff generator was developed officially in 1929 by physician Robert J. Vandegraaff, 1901-1967 at Princeton University on a fellowship with help from one of the colleagues, Nikola Gorky. After that, uh, actually after that, after actually after hearing about Ernest Rutherford work in nuclear physics, Vandegraaff began to find a way to accelerate particles to very high speed in order to disintegrating atomic nuclei. So after the first model was demonstrated in October 1929 which they created a defense of 80,000 or at that time. After uh, later version were constructed, it means that after too much time they were that were able to make differences of 1 million or and 7 million or so it looked like that on Vendigraph generator we can get a huge amount of voltage. So now let's come to the principle. So this is the principle of Vendigraph generator. Vendigraph generator work on corona discharge. What is corona discharge? Corona discharge is the discharging action of charging points. That is electric discharges take place in air or cases radially at pointed conductor. 
and the charge conductor is go into internal contact with a hollow conductor all of it charges transfer to the surface of the hollow conductor and scatter uniformly or at no matter how high the potential of the latter may be so this is the construction of mandiga generator we use the moving belt so these are the separators or the parts of pendigraph generator we use the moving belt so this is the moving belt which move on pulley so these are the pulley two pulley which we use here so comb of needles so these are the needles which are used for sprinkling charges onto the belt or collecting charges from the belt and transferring transferring the charges from the pump toward the uh, dome shape dome shape sphere so these are the dome shape sphere roller made from acrylic glass so these are the rulers which is made from the acrylic glasses and electric motor so these rulers going through the electric motor electric motor is nothing but it is look it is such like a motor look like sewing machine motor so this is the working so how it work so let's discuss the working of pendigraph generator so these are the construction of pendigraph generator so here these are the combs so electron jump onto the belt at the bottom so here the electron comes from the source and jump onto the belt so as these belts are moving through electric motor so this so the charges will be moving upward so when it reach at this region so this comb collect the charges from the belt and so it transfer to what the sphere dome shape sphere so all the charges will accumulate on the dome shape sphere so this from here the electron jump off the belt at the top and these are the concern the rubber belt moved by a pulley rubs against the palm of needles these needles stretch some electron away from the belt as i already discussed leaving positive charge is on at which are collected by another form of needle at the top this top form is connected to the metal dome on which the charge deposits so these are the metal dome and on this the charges all the charges are deposited so here mostly you see that when whenever you place your hand on the dome shape sphere of the pentagraph generator so your hair will be get straight look like this here you are watching so why this happen so actually when now actually here if you see to this figure she place her hand on to the pentagraph generator so one person also <coughs> come in your mind is that why she not get show by placing hand on this pentagraph generator so actually pentagraph generator create a millions of voltage but it also generate current but that is in a milli ampere and you know that any person get shock by electric current so here if the if the wind graph generator is such that it generate a huge amount of current so whenever she place her hand on to the wind graph generator she get shock 
but here as you know that when the graph generator is such a generator which generate a very less amount in a milli ampere current so that's why she never gets shocked when she places her hand on the when the graph generator so as you know that i discuss in the construction that all the charges accumulate on this whole dome shape sphere so when our ship lays her hand on to the ventricle uh dome shape sphere so all the charges will be transferred on this path so all charges will be going and it reach a on the air so here so let's these are the here so here every each and every uh here uh take same amount of charges same charges here this part of the here take plus charge and similarly this part of the here also take plus charge so this this uh, that's why we know that the same charges repel from each other so that's why we, each and every here repel start repelling from each other so that's why your hair will be look like this and here also same charge is repelling from each other because all the negative charge repel or all the positive charge repel from each other so that's why it will be varying in the air whenever you place your hair on the handicraft generator and also one more thing which i forget in the working block is there the meter of charging is based upon the triboelectric effect and triboelectric effect is such an effect that simple contact of this this similar material causes the transfer of some electron from one material to the other so this is the triboelectric effect now let's come toward the research which done on wendy graph generator so actually this research was done by a scientist of bangkok who do research on wendy graph generator and find the following relations so these are the following relations which he find it so e is equal to v by d or d is equal to v by e so v is equal to k no by r so here the k is nothing just constant and q is the total charges which accumulate on the dome shape sphere d is the distance r is the radius of the outer terminus which always we remain constant so therefore if we substitute this equation into the equation one so we get this equation and here we know that e is equal to 3 modulo n power 6 volt per meter so this is the graph which i take from that research paper so this is the graph of relation between speed of the belt with the uh, minimum maximum discharge distance and speed of the belt is nothing just number of cycle per time over per second so these are the limitation of pendigra generator the first limitation is that it produce very low intensity of current as compared to all range the second limitation is that it maintain it maintains and construction is costly and bulky The third is that for here a maximum of three million volt can be generated as after that air will ionize. The fourth limitation is that it cannot accelerate neutral particles. So these are the following applications. The first application is that in modern time the application of wendy graph generator is largely limited to academic purpose. to demonstrate the particle aspects and concepts of electrostatic behavior of particles the second application is that the clamp really designed as a particle accelerator the wendy graph generator are used in laboratories for demonstration purpose only 
means that most students use it in laboratories. So that is the third application of anti-graph generator is that the beam of these charges accelerate particles is used to trigger the nuclear reaction. The fourth application is that accelerated particle beams are used to break atom for various experiments in physics. The fifth application of pentagraph generator is that in medicine such beams are used to treat cancer. So these are the safety factors of pentagraph generator. So first safety factor is don't allow students to use the Vendigraph generator unsupervised. The second safety factor is that because with people with cardiac pacemaker should never operate the Vendigraph generator or come in contact with the third safety factor is that obviously we are dealing with high voltage here so stay about 3 feet away from the collector while it is child so you must take care when whenever you are performing any type of experiment on pentagraph generator the fifth safety factor is that always discharge the collecting down between experiments and when they are finished so these are the dome shape uh, uh, collector through which we discharge the or metal sphere or the vendigraph generator. Don't run the generator continuously for a long period of time because then it lose a lot of heat that could damage the belt or the motor itself. The sixth safety factor is that keep the entire device clean and dry. It means that no impurity moisture because if moisture is present then it do short circuit. The second seventh safety factor is that handle the aluminium parts with care in order to avoid electric shock. So these are the references from which I take and all these data of presentation. Uh, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, so you put that question in the comment box. So I will, uh, I will always or I will answer your questions in the comment box. So thanks for watching and subscribe my channel for further videos. Thank you.